Good morning, everyone, and welcome to oilpreneur.net. Uh, I'm going to give you 11 tips that you can use um, for your peppermint Young Living Essential Oil. And this is the Vitality line. Basically, what that means is these are the this is the line uh, in the wholesale Young Living catalog that you can use. You can consume these oils uh, internally. You can basically you can make tea out of them. You, there's so many different things, but the main thing is that it is more of a, from what I understand, more of a dietary uh, line of essential oils, um, and you use them just like regular essential oils as well. But I'm not going to waste too much of your time. Let's jump straight into the 11 great uses for the peppermint essential oil. Uh, one of the ones on the list is going to be for brushing your teeth. So one thing that I like to do is I actually, I just use regular baking soda to brush my teeth. I just like how my teeth feel afterwards. Um, I don't use a whole lot, just a little, what I'll do is I'll, you know, dip the toothbrush in just the corner of the toothbrush into the baking soda. And then you can put one drop of the uh, Young Living Peppermint Essential Oil onto the toothbrush. And just brush your teeth just like that. And it'll feel, it'll, you'll get the same feeling, if not better, uh, than actually using the, uh, you know, regular store-bought toothpaste. So that's one really great use for the Peppermint Essential Oil. Um, number two is going to be using it as a, let's say a mouthwash. So basically what you could do is you can get some water. Uh, if you're not, if you're sensitive, I'm sorry, if you're not sensitive to, um, you know, peroxide, I, I believe there is a, um, a certain grade that you can use peroxide for, um, you know, rinsing your mouth out. You can add a few drops of this to. I think, yeah, that's it, food grade peroxide and use it as a mouth rinse, okay? Um, so that's number two. Uh, number three uh, that I've seen is people will use this as a spray. So let's say you're out and about, you know, you wanna freshen your mouth up. Um, now, this stuff by itself, if you take just one drop in your mouth, like it's gonna be super, super strong. So you definitely wanna dilute this if you're going to be spraying it in your mouth. So that's another, that's number three on my list. Number four, um, and I'm a sucker for sweets. Uh, you can use this, put a couple drops into your brownie mix and you get peppermint brownies. So that is going to be number four on the list. Number five on the list is going to be to add a drop to your coffee. Um, that's one idea you can use it for. So that's number five. Number six is going to be to make a tea out of it. So that's one of my favorite teas. Um, I like to personally mix about a drop of it with black tea. Um, and that kind of just, you know, brings it out a little bit, brings a, gives a nice aroma and taste to uh, my black tea. And so that will be number six, number seven, and um, you can add a drop or two to your water bottle before you go to the gym, okay? Um, and number eight, which is one thing that I really like to do when I'm, you know, trying to get, you know, get myself a little pick me up, is I'll put about two to three drops of this peppermint essential oil in an empty vegetable capsule. That is number eight. Number nine, um, actually, you can put this in soap if you're a soap crafter. And um, one of my first experiences with peppermint actually uh, is when I was in Hawaii and I had a handcrafted bar of soap that um, had peppermint essential oil in it. And it really, was a very invigorating um, feeling when I went to go, you know, take a shower. Um, you know, you kind of just, it just felt very refreshing. You know what I'm saying? And that was one of my first experiences with peppermint essential oil was in a handcrafted bar of soap. Um, <clears throat> so, and number 10 is going to be, um, basically, you know, it's, you know, a lot of you probably already know this, but you can diffuse it. 
You can put it in your diffuser. Um, you can also, if you have one of the Young Living USB diffusers that you can plug into a USB outlet in your car or uh, in your laptop, uh, this makes a great um, essential oil for diffusing. Um, and the diffuser, the, the USB diffuser is only about that big. It literally looks like a USB uh, card or disc, you know, one of those little like, you know, things that looks like you're gonna hold, you know, some memory on it. So that's one thing you can use it for, as well as the other diffusers, like the Dewdrop diffuser. And number 11 on this list is going to be uh, for massage. Uh, and you probably wanna dilute it if you're a massage therapist. You know, you probably want to, whatever oils you're using, I would probably dilute this down a bit. Um, like I said, because it's just a very potent, very strong essential oil. So this is my top 11 uses for the peppermint essential oil. If you found this helpful, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share this video when you get a chance. And don't forget to subscribe today. Thank you and have a good one.